Hi everyone and welcome. My name is Stuart Hayden, founder of Storm Beach, specialising in authentic leadership. As I'm sure you know by now, I keep myself busy working as a coach, consultant, facilitator, speaker and author of this fine book. It's not about the coach, which is the focus of today's short video. I'm going to read from um, chapter number five, which is around challenge. And this sits within the uh, perception phase of being a coachee. So it's kind of like the middle section, it's the middle chapter. Um, What's really interesting about challenge is that it, the way I've described it is it sits right within the middle of the book, which means that everything else that sits around it, there's nine chapters in all, so the other eight chapters all kind of sit around it. And it means it shares a boundary with all those uh, other eight areas because challenge is found everywhere as part of your coaching journey. So it's, it's a small or big part of each of the other areas as well, really. So let's have a read anyway, and um, let's see if we can break it down in a bit more detail. So. Attention leads to intention. Your attentive listening skills will lead to well-formed intentions, which is all you need to succeed as a coachee. This isn't just the domain of the coach. Throw in a few actions that you will commit to and you have a recipe for success. Engage your whole body, particularly your eye contact, and use those two ears rather than that one mouth. Look and be interested. Let it all go using your intuition and logical skills. Give someone a present by being present. Keep your mind as free as possible and don't start thinking of what you want to say or ask next. In Philippe Petit, we found an expert. In the Tibetan book, Living and Dying, we hear about beginners. And I quote, if your mind is empty, it is always ready for anything. It is open to everything. In the beginner's mind, there are many possibilities. In the expert's mind, there are few. So that's drawing on challenge, and that's really drawing on the art of listening. So, so many people, if I, if I train coaches, I'm always going to look at their listening skills. It's going to be, you know, questioning, listening, observation, top three skills for being a coach. But if a coach E, mentee, learner, player, follower, isn't also listening, then they can't really challenge. They need to listen to themselves, listen to their coach, mentor, listen to other people around them, just to kind of really sense what's, what's going on. So that's fundamental to coaching, that ability to challenge yourself and, of course, respond to challenge. So if your coach challenges or your team or whatever challenges you, that's, that's also part of it as well. So A, how you bring challenge to yourself uh, and B, how you respond to challenge from the environment around you. And that's the whole authentic inner and outer journey, inner challenge, outer challenge, inner values, outer values which are aligned to be authentic. So that's, that is really um, key. There are other two places to be as well. You can't always be in a constant state of constant challenge. We know that's just too much. That tension is good. That um, provoking is good. Squeezing, stretching is all good. That's challenging. Okay, but obviously we know that can lead to, to breakage. So you also want to go to the opposite place potentially sometimes, which is uh, supportive. So look for support. What things will support you? How can your coach support you? Your manager, your leader, your you know whoever it is that you're working with. How can they support you? as well as have that challenge. Now, naturally, we don't always seek that out as well sometimes, so you've got to have both in your agenda, but fundamentally, coaching is about change, which is why I kind of put, I suppose, challenge ahead of support, maybe, in, in the way I position it in the book. The other one is sometimes you just need a bit of time out, as uh, my good coach, Jazz, used to call it that incubation period, where you need to be in supported or challenge. A bit of calmness, not too much has happened, that kind of the doldrums, the, you know, the seas aren't, uh, or the winds aren't too strong at the time. So you do need a break from time to time again. So you've got to move and challenge, be supported, have a break. Move, challenge, be supported, have a break. There's some kind of cycle there, and you'll know what's, what's right for you at that right time. But it doesn't mean you kind of shelve challenge, because that is fundamentally the thing we need to probably need to bring more of to the coaching as coaches that we don't. The other two probably come a bit easier, and actually, if you're not being coached, then you're probably either not doing a great deal, a bit calm, or being highly supportive, quite comfort zone-y. Um, but the challenge comes with coaching. But we have to remember there's all three involved. So don't just fully focus on the challenge, but you have to have a degree of challenge in coaching. So good luck with that. Hope that serves you and the best luck with all your coaching activities.